Okay, time for a new video, and whether you are somebody new to my channel or you are returning to my channel, it is much appreciated. As always, I'm filming this in one go, so if I stumble over my words going forwards, I apologise in advance. And I also apologise in advance if the quality of this video ends up being pretty poor, if there's any lag, anything like that at all. Sadly, it cannot be helped, and hopefully it's not too much of an issue for you. Today, I'm filming a brief video. Uh, and I've seen a lot of people upload videos like this over the past 24, 48 hours or so, where they are ranking their national final favourites for Eurovision 2020 so far. And I thought that I would do something similar. I'm not ranking these in any particular order, I'm just going to go through all of the countries in this year's contest, which of course will take place in Rotterdam in the Netherlands this May, and specifically those countries having a national final of course, and tell you my personal picks, if you will. There are some very, very good songs, and of course some not so very good songs, and I'm just going to get straight into it. Let me know your thoughts, of course. I will say that I'm subscribed to about 50 different Eurovision channels on YouTube, and they've all got different opinions, of course, which makes Eurovision so interesting, but you do see the same few songs crop up around this time every year, and certainly it would seem as though one or two songs are emerging as favourites for a lot of people. But of course, will they be my favourites? Well, I'm about to let you know. Beginning with the songs in semi-final one, I'll try not to ramble here, because I've already spoken about some of these songs in previous videos, but Australia is the first country here, and I have to say I think it's a relatively poor national final lineup. Uh, before hearing any of the songs, I was familiar with about two of the musicians, Casey Donovan, uh, I'd heard of before, and Vanessa Amorosa, who had a big hit all over the world, particularly here in Britain, uh, many, many years ago with absolutely everybody. Um, really speaking, I think Vanessa or Casey will win, but my personal favourite, it has emerged within the past couple of days, is Don't Break Me by Montaigne, or Montaigne, I'm pretty sure it's Montaigne. Anyway, Jessica... Chero, which I believe is her real name, Anthony Agizzi and David Musumeci have done the music and lyrics. There she is. Her real name is Jessica. She is 24 from Sydney. She's released two albums, although the most recent album didn't do quite as well. It was released last year. She's had a string of singles. She is quite a striking person to look at. Um, says here that she plays the acoustic guitar as well. The song's really good, it's a sort of stirring ballad. Nothing we haven't heard before, but those vocals sound really strong, and if she can nail it live, she is an absolute serious contender to win the Australian national final. None of the other songs really stand out too much to me. I quite like Casey Donovan's song, but it doesn't stand out enough as Don't Break Me, in my opinion. Raw Stuff by Didiri, which is very low-key, quite a slow, um, melancholic sort of tune. It's quite nice, but would it stand out much at Eurovision? I don't know. And then uh, also Pushing Stars by Jordan Ravi. For some reason, his name has got a hyphen in the middle of it. I'm not sure if that's really what his name is like or anything. I don't know. But anyway, Pushing Stars by Jordan Ravi. It's a pretty good song. And I like Together by Mitch Tambo as well. But I think Montaigne is my favourite here. And I had a feeling she would be. I was listening to some of her songs last week, earlier this week as well. And I liked what I heard. So for me, if she won, I'd be very happy. If you're Australian, let me know if she is one of the favourites here. Moving on to Belarus. Well, we had the audition round and then we now have 12 songs left. Again, not a massively impressive lineup here. Angelica Pushnova with True Love, probably my favourite. Uh, I quite liked Anastasia Maleshkovich with Invisible. And I'm just going through the list. I think that's about it. Chili Pepper by Casey, I can see being a big fan favourite down the line, potentially. But I think Belarus is flying under the radar at the moment. And I've not seen too many Belarusian entries in other people's top 20 national final songs so far, that sort of thing. So, yeah, Angelica Pushnova with True Love is probably my favourite from Belarus at the moment. Who's going to win? Too early to say. Possibly Angelica or Anastasia Hlamodsta. I can see both of them doing fairly well. Quite liked On Fire by Daria Kulminitskaya, but I think realistically... 
it's going to be one of the two names I just mentioned that's going to end up winning. True Love by Angelica Pushnova or Anastasia Hamodza. But what do I know? Let me know your thoughts on the Belarusian national final. Don't think we've got a date for that yet. Oh, yes, we do. End of, end of February. Lithuania. Well, their national final is We Go Again. That's the English translation of it. In terms of songs that have been knocked out already, uh, not a huge fan of any of them. I quite liked Dad Don't Be Mad at Me by Bernardas. Uh, which was quite a slow, um, somewhat forgettable tune, but there was something also quite charming about it, which I liked. But, in other words, uh, the rest of my favourites are still in contention to win the Lithuanian national selection. Alligator by Keira is not bad. Namudvasia by Baltos Varnos, apologies for my pronunciation there, that's quite a haunting, pretty song. We Came From The Sun by Ruta Loop is pretty good. I know that Gabrielius Vagilis is a big fan favourite with Tavi Chaurandu. Not entirely sure what that means. Does it say here? No. But anyway, he wrote the song. It's quite nice, but I'm not sure it's the strongest here. And I can't see him... In fact, I'm not sure he'll get out of this semi-final, which starts in just a few hours from the time I'm recording this video. Um, On Fire by The Roop is probably the one that's going to win overall. It's quite a quirky cool, hypnotic sort of tune. Good beat, interesting choreography. I quite like it. I think it will grow on a lot of people. Um, I like Unbreakable by Ice Day, but she's not going to win this year. Again. Uh, and then from the second semi-final, Monica Maria probably is my favourite from Lithuania overall. It's just a really low-key, country pop sort of tune. Really stripped back. Nothing fancy going on. And Monica's a great singer. She really is. And I'd love to see her represent Lithuania. Make Me Human by Monike is also pretty popular and I quite like that. Some very good songs from Lithuania. Not a bad batch left. Um, and the one that probably ends up winning, The Roop, I'd be fine with. Uh, Slovenia, the songs aren't out yet. From the first semi-final of Melfest 2020, which starts very soon in just a matter of hours as well, it's Malu Pritz with Ballerina. That's my favourite one so far. Croatia, we don't know the songs. Malta, I did see snippets earlier of some performances from X Factor Malta. Destiny Chukunjere, the former Junior Eurovision winner, is still involved. Great singer. She can probably uh, win easy and go to Eurovision and do very, very well. I liked Kyle Kutajar as well, one of the boys, the only boy left in the competition, all of the overs in X Factor, so those over the age of 30 or something, they're out. Uh, three groups are left, two girls, and then Kyle, who I just mentioned, is the only boy left. And uh, yeah, to be honest, I'm happy with whoever. We don't know any of the songs uh, in contention. Well, we don't know any of the songs because, of course, Malta will go internal for the song selection as they did last year. But let me know your thoughts on Malta flying under the radar as well. Norway, well, 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 well. Melody Grand Prix. From semi final one, my favourite was Lisa Bohood talking about us, but she's out. Rayleigh won it, and I quite like that song, although it's clearly inspired by Replaying Fuego. Semi final two, Rain Alexander with One Last Time was my favourite in that one. Semi-final three, my favourite was the winner, Pray For Me, by Christine Rousseau. Uh, Semi-final four, which is tonight, my favourite is Over the Sea by Magnus Bokken, or Bone, I'm not sure if it's a silent K, let me know. That song is written by himself, Joust, and Alexander Rebak, so two former Eurovision competitors there, and of course one of them being a winner. But... A clear favourite, I would say, is emerging in Norway. Obviously, we have some automatic qualifiers as well. Somdewear by Akuvi, that's fine. Take My Time by Sondre, I haven't listened to yet, I'll be honest. Out of Air by Didrik and Emil is dated, but also fine. But, we haven't heard Tona Damley yet. Attention by Ulrike Brandstorp is a fantastic song, so powerful. If it was a Melfest entry, people would be wedding themselves over it. But as it's a uh, Norwegian Grand Prix entry, I feel as though it's just bubbling under the surface a little bit. The live performance of this song will be tonight, and that will really uh, get people on board, hopefully, because this is a tremendous song. Christian Inge Brixen 
who is the lead singer of A1, who were pretty successful here in the UK uh, a number of years ago. He's written this. I know A1 were in contention for Norway many years ago as well. And Kjetil Murland, who of course was part of that duo in 2015, and he was a soloist recently for Norway as well in the national final. Plus Ulrika. It's a great songwriting team. This song is fantastic. It's so good. And if she nails it live, there are some big notes in this one. If she nails it, could be unstoppable. And uh, it seems as though that song, out of all of the national final songs so far, is emerging as a real serious contender. And I personally would be disappointed if Norway didn't pick it, because, yes, maybe it's not the most original melody or the most fresh-sounding song in the mix, but you can't deny quality, and this song, in my opinion, is absolute quality. So that's the song that I'd like to see represent Norway at this moment in time. Uh, Ukraine, I've heard some of the songs, um, Go A with Solove, not bad, Elena Ivashchenko is probably my favourite at the moment with Get Up, I've heard part of Black Square by Fosho, which I really didn't like, I'll be honest, and I heard some of Bonfire by Tvorci, which was alright too, pretty sure there was another song I heard, but I can't remember which one it was, anyway, all of those Ukrainian songs will be revealed in full at some point soon. Czech Republic will know the representative shortly. For me, it's Dark Water by Olga Lunova. That's my favourite here. I like all of the songs except Kemama by Benny Cristo. So whichever song the Czech Republic choose, I'll be happy with. The more I hear We All Poop, the more convinced I am that they are ripping off 21 Pilots. Uh, because it sounds so similar. Anyway, Esto good song though. Estonia, Esti Laul. Just going through in alphabetical order here. Um, Yagup Twist with Beautiful Eyes, fine, but not my favourite. Uh, don't really like Laura's entry or Laura's entry. Uh, Million Samu by Merlin Melk, that's a pretty good song. Young by Rasmus Ranvi, I quite like that. Out in Space by Shearer might be my joint favourite at the moment. Uh, Uxcor Vale is my other favourite by Traffic, that's a great little folky, cheery sort of tune. I'm Sorry I Messed Up by Udo Sepp, that's pretty good. Lean On Me by Ziggy Wild, a bit of a rock song, stands out but stands no chance of winning this. Yeah, there's a couple of songs that I quite like and then the rest sort of blend into each other. Moving on to Iceland, well my favourite here is Oculus Vidure, The Eyes Can See, performed by Eva, who, it would be ironic if she goes to Eurovision in a way, because she was born in the Netherlands and studies classical singing in Rotterdam, can you believe it? Uh, she's probably the one to beat. Will Iceland send it though? That's that's the question. It's such a haunting, pretty, ethereal, otherworldly sort of tune. It, it would stand out a mile at Eurovision, you know it would. And uh, that's the one to beat. Really, really good. It's a strong final, I think. I like Brynja Mary with In Your Eyes. I like Elizabeth with Haunting. I like Isolde and Helga with Meet Me Halfway. And I like Nina with Echo. Those are my other favourites. But at the moment, Eva out in front for me. And I think some people will really loathe it and some people will really love it. But this is the sort of song that you know would probably really be a special moment on stage in Rotterdam this May if Iceland pick it. I'm really starting to ramble now, I do apologise. Moldova, I watched clips earlier from the audition round, which um, was earlier today, and some songs have been disqualified for some reason, I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, my favourites, Katerina Sandu with Die For You, um, Giorgetta Burlaccio with Rasp Raspunde, sorry, uh, Julia Ilienko featuring Michelle Dar with Tears, um, what other ones do I like? Maxim Zavidia with Take Control. Natalia Gordienko with Prison, which I think might just win this. Pasha Parfeni with My Wine. He looks very different now. Sort of more rugged. He's got a beard and everything. Uh, very different from 2012. Um, and also It's Time by Valeria Pasha. Those are my favourites from Moldova. The rest, not so keen on. Uh, we don't know anything from there. Denmark, my favourite... And I think this will end up being one of my national final favourites full stop from any country this year. It is Maya and the Sata Shela with Den Ernester Gott Ivela. It's a sort of throwback entry, very 80s. Um, it, it sounds like it should be in a movie, something like that. It, it, it's just a sort of 
throwback entry. It sounds really good. I really like it. I've heard it all the way through about three times. like it more every time I hear it. But let's be honest, it stands no chance. Denmark won't even think about sending this. So it's probably going to be Yes by Ben and Tan. That's the one to beat. Jasmine Rose featuring Rocksaw Loops is another bit of a fan favourite already, but I'm not blown away by that. It's not a bad batch of songs, but that one I just mentioned, Den Innister Gothi Vela, that's my favourite. Moving on to... Uh, Finland, well I have to be honest, it's Chichiolina, looks unstoppable, almost 400,000 YouTube views already, the rest are playing catch up and they won't catch up. Erika Vikman, it's a bit dated, but it's probably going to be really good live, that's the thing, the performance could be really, really something special. I like Bananas by F3M, even though the lyrics are not fantastic. I like all of the songs actually, I do, I like all of the songs, but Chichiolina is the one to beat here, no doubt about it. Um, Latvia, massively disappointing lineup. Songs that were knocked out that I quite liked. Uh, Coming Over by Antra Stafetschka and Atish Jevinj. Um, Marcus Reaver's song Impossible was fine. Uh, that's about it, I think. Out of the nine songs that are left, the favourite's Samantha Tina, but I don't like that song very much at all, I'll be honest with you. Don't really see the hype, or get the hype, in any way. Um, it's so hard to pick a favourite, but it's probably Edgar's Kralis with Tridomite. Moving on to Portugal, my favourite by some distance is Passepartout by Barbara Tinoco, the fan favourite at the moment, I keep using that term, but it's the only term I can use here. Rebellion by Blasted is fine, would stand out an absolute mile, if it goes to Eurovision so be it. Uh, I like Medo de Sentir by Elisa. Um, Movimento by Thrones in the Shrine. There's a few others. It's not a bad lineup at all from Portugal, but Passepartout is my clear favourite there. And then Italy, we don't know the songs yet, but you better believe pure quality left, right, and centre when San Remo gets underway. That's it. I really do apologise. This was such a rambling, long video, but I think I've covered everything I wanted to say. Those are my national final favourites so far. Let me know your thoughts. Is there one song that you absolutely think I should have mentioned? Is there a song that's flying under the radar that you think will creep up on people? Is there a song that you're really looking forward to hearing? Whatever it is, let me know, and I'll be back at some point with either a reaction type video or another Eurovision What We Know So Far video. Until next time, thank you very much for watching this huge ramble. Apologies if the quality was so-so, and bye for now.